We begin this noon with breaking news out of Youngstown. Police are responding to a large fight at East High School. Dozens of officers were called to the school. We've also been told that some students were hit with pepper spray. First News reporter Amanda Smith is on the scene. She joins us live now with the very latest. Amanda. Lauren, I'm going to step out of the way and show you where the Youngstown City Police have set up a perimeter here around East High School. Until just a few minutes ago, they were not letting anybody in or out of the building. Now, I have seen at least five people taken away in handcuffs to police cars. We're not sure if they've been detained, arrested, or if they will face charges. We're going to be investigating that as we go on throughout the day. Now, what happened here is earlier this morning during the lunch hour, two groups of students seem to have gotten into a large fight. The students here tell me that they were fighting for about 10 or 15 minutes before police arrived, and when police arrived, they started macing the crowd who came. At least two students that I talked to told me that they had been maced directly in the face by police officers. Their friends grabbed cartons of milk and started pouring it into their eyes so that they wouldn't face burns from the chemicals. Now, the superintendent Stola came out earlier today, and he told everybody that they were closing the schools. Right now, they're waiting for the, bu the buses to come up and take the students home. If parents are here and their students are on campus right now, they're letting parents take their kids out one at a time. Now, it's starting to get a little loud behind me. I'm going to take a look and see what's going on. Um, parents are, okay, students are starting to come out of the building when they have parents here waiting for them. Uh, this is a developing situation. We haven't heard from police exactly what started this fight, but we hope to find that out throughout the day, along with the charges that the people who started this altercation are going to face. Uh, as I said, this is a developing situation. We're going to keep an eye on the situation and bring you updates throughout the day on WKBN.com and on our news stations at 5 and 6. Now, for now, I'm going to start looking into what happened here, what's going next. And I did talk to some students. They tell me that they're afraid to come back to school. Reporting live at East High School in Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.